What's going on? This is DJC with the breakdown of Whaley versus Carla Sparza and the beautiful technique that Whaley used to reverse Carla's takedowns in order to get the Renika choke. So right here, she's stalking her down, stalking her prey, landing some strikes, cutting off the octagon, and then here's a big punch, head kick right there, and then in a matter of moments, she's going to throw another head kick. And Carla catches it right here, looking for a takedown. And immediately, Zhang Weili jumps in the back. She's looking for a rear naked choke right here. Carla's in trouble, but Carla stays calm. She tries to roll while Weili's on her back. Weili's trying to hold on to that uh, body triangle. And right here, Weili has Carla in the reverse crucifix. But Carla's able to roll out. But Carla tries to go for ground and pound. And Weili just overpowers her, gets out, and ends up taking back the back control of Carla Esparza and Carla is still in deep trouble and Zhang Wei Li has control of the back still working for that rear naked choke on Carla Esparza now this fight could have been over in one but one mistake that Zhang Wei Li made so she has Carla back flattened here she could have went for a rear naked choke but the rookie mistake that Zhang Wei Li made here is she got too excited which happens but she tried posturing up landing ground and pounds instead of trying to hold Carla in position and working for a rear naked choke. Or with Carla rolling over, she could have maybe looked for an arm triangle here, but it is what it is. She goes for the ground and pound. And because of that, she lost position. And Carla, as far as I like the veteran she is, was able to escape this position and end up on top. Although Whaley did go on to get back up and won the round regardless based off the strikes and winning most of the grappling exchanges. Um, even though she didn't end up getting the submission in round one, round two, she was clearly determined and it came to a point where she was inviting the takedowns of Carla Esparza, continuing that pressure, making her uncomfortable, inviting that shot, boom, big straight cross, stung Carla right there, she's hurt, she's backing up, another head kick right there, and then body kick, that knocked the wind out of Carla, you can see the concern in her face. Like, she knows she has to get this fight to the ground because Whaley is just schooling her on the feet, picking her apart, hurting her, and Carla, this next shot right here, becomes desperate, and she's falling right into Zhang Weili's trap because Zhang wants to take down so she can go back to her plan from round one and pick up where she left off. And just like Whaley wanted, Carla goes for a sloppy panic takedown. Whaley is defending, ends up on her butt, but refuses to settle for bottom and continues to scramble, engages here. Right here, Carla's screwed because her arm is locked up. And Whaley eventually gets that arm under the neck right here. Hold on. So he's got the arm trapped and then immediately one arm under the neck. And her and Carla right now are hand fighting. And literally all Zhang Weili needs to do, or all she needs from Carla, is for her to let that hand go and to give up. And eventually she wins the hand battle against Carla Sparza. Once Carla Sparza loses the grip, that's it. Beginning of the end, choke locked in. And that's an instant tap from Carla Sparza. That reverse crucifix that Zhang Weili used to trap Carla's arm so she had no chance of fighting off that rear naked choke was just genius because she could have went for any other traditional rear naked choke with the regular body triangle but that could have been 10 times more difficult but this is something that's a technique that carla has never gone up against and that she was not prepared to defend and in this fight you could tell that zhang wei li was not afraid of the grappling with Carla Esparza. She came prepared to grapple and she wanted to make Carla Esparza pay in these grappling transitions to eventually find a sub. I mean, what a master Zhang Weili is. And it seems like this is something that she's had planned out for months in advance. Weili in this matchup showed some high IQ grappling and creativity, which is why Zhang Weili pound for pound is one of the best WMMA fighters on planet Earth and currently the best strawweight in the world. And her brains as well as her bronze is exactly why she is a two-time UFC strawweight champion. If you enjoyed the breakdown, give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, share this video if you can. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and peace out.